What up, YouTube? This is JT. And uh, let's do a quick post fight of the Luis Ortiz and Brian Jennings fight. Um, it was a good fight, man. Um, I know I'm a little late with this, but uh, I mean, I predicted this fight pretty much the way it exactly happened. I said that Ortiz would stop Jennings in seven rounds. Um, I had a conversation with boxologists about it, and uh, that's pretty much exactly what happened. Um, it was a beautiful left uppercut, and um, Jennings couldn't recover. Um, Ortiz is very skilled, man, very skilled. Um, paced himself well, got good distance, and uh, was catching and shooting and slipping punches for a big guy. You know, he, he moves his head pretty well. Um, kind of flat-footed. Kind of flat-footed, and I feel like that'll cost him against some of the bigger guys like Wilder and uh, Fury, you know. You gotta, people don't like to give Fury credit, man, but to be that big and to be able to move like that, Fury's gonna be very, very difficult to beat, man. Very difficult to beat, you know, with that size and that ability, ability to move. Um, yeah, so... Uh, but I think Jennings, I mean, uh, Ortiz, King Kong Ortiz is going to have a, a shot in that fight, man. He's going to have a shot in most fights at heavyweight, man. You know, just based on boxing ability, you know. Um, in this wide array of punches that a lot of heavyweights, you know, don't throw, <clears throat> you know, right hooks and lead uppercuts like that, you know. So, dude is a nice boxer, man. So, we you know we just gotta see what happens you know he, it was for the wba interim title so that i guess that's gonna make a mandatory for her wins between klitschko and fury so um we'll see what happens we'll see what happens as for the walters fight um i watched that live uh i watched eight rounds um and i just stopped watching it because it was pretty boring, man. I mean, I just got tired of watching it, you know. But from what I was seeing, I mean, again, I called that one too. I mean, um, I didn't finish the fight, you know. But I had a feeling it was going to be a robbery. Because the thing is this, man. Walters was letting Sosa just get off all them. Just get off too many punches on him, man. Just throwing too many punches and he basically fought Sosa's fight. He stood in the pocket. Um he didn't use his jab. He just banged with uh Sosa the whole time. And I thought he was landing clean shots, man, but I mean, um you know I just didn't I didn't see him really pulling away. Like out of the first four or five rounds. I thought Sosa won, you know, the majority of those. You know, I had it about 3-2 um, going into five. And a lot of these rounds were close, man. You know, it was, you know, one or two punches, basically, um, one or two punches, basically separating each fighter in the fight. You know, so... Um, Uh, I thought it was a close fight. I thought the the decision was warranted. You know what I mean? I did not I didn't think it was a robbery at all. Um you know, I think people are just going on what Kellerman and uh going on basically the HBO score, you know, instead of actually watching a fight. You guys should learn your lesson with that, especially with the you know, like the Pacquiao Bradley fight. You know, I thought Bradley won that fight. You know, if you watch the fight without listening to HBO or looking at their scores, I thought it was pretty obvious that Bradley won that fight. <laughs> you know, um, you know that Harold Letterman is not an official judge. You know, he works for HBO. So basically, whoever they want to win or basically whoever they feel is the favorite in the fight they're going to give the benefit of the doubt to that fighter 
And I felt that they gave Walters a lot of rounds that he didn't even win. You know, he just sat there, stood in the pocket, and let Sosa throw all types of punches and get off all types of combinations on him. He was doing good work. He showed good defense. I got to give him that. Good defense in the pocket, you know. But um, I was just waiting for him to make an adjustment, waiting for him to do something else. But he didn't do it. So you can't complain about the, you can't complain about the decision, man. You sat there and fought in a phone booth with a banger, which is Sosa. When you're supposed to be a boxer puncher, but where was that ability? You know, you stood flat-footed in a pocket with this guy and let him get off. So don't complain about the decision, man. It's your boy JT. I'm out.